the two more important days of his early spiritual life. Your best servant is the person who does not attend so much to hearing what he himself wants as to willing what he has heard from you, St. Augustine. John Hardin was accepted into the Jesuit novitiate eight days after having entered, and in his spiritual autobiography recalled that day as one of the two more important days of his early spiritual life. He received the happy news that morning when he spotted a Jesuit habit lying on his bed. He kissed it and repeated this practice every day for the rest of his life. After two years in the novitiate, John Hardin made his first sacred vows, which Jesuits consider a lifetime commitment. What does love look like? It has hands to help others. It has the feet to hasten to the poor and needy. It has eyes to see misery and want. It has the ears to hear the sighs and sorrows of men. That is what love looks like. St. Augustine. According to Father Hardin, on the second of the two more important days of his early spiritual life, he was notified that he was accepted for final vows, quote, with God's grace, unquote. On the Feast of Our Lady of Purification, February the 2nd, 1945, John Hardin pronounced his final sacred vows as a member of the Society of Jesus, which Jesuits consider binding for life. Imagine reading and simultaneously silently hearing the following quote from him in his voice, quote, only God knows the price I have paid for this loyalty over the years, but the price is nothing compared to the reward with which God has repaid." Unquote. From St. Augustine, Late have I loved you, beauty so ancient and so new. Late have I loved you. And see, you were within, and I was in the external world and sought you there. And in my unlovely state, I plunged into those lovely things which you made. You were with me, and I was not with you. The lovely things kept me far from you, though if they did not have their existence in you, they had no existence at all. You called and cried out loud and shattered my deafness. You were radiant and resplendent, you put into flight my blindness. You were fragrant, and I drew my breath and now pant after you. I tasted you, and I feel but hunger and thirst for you. You touched me, and I am set on fire to attain the peace which is yours.